Hello and welcome to Phoenix TV, the show that brings you D-Side and Manchester's fastest and most exciting sports team, the Manchester Phoenix. Uh, I've got Anna Corrigan with me here ahead of our clash with the Milton Keynes Lightning. Um, very quickly, we'll discuss last night, and I mean very quickly, because the less said, um, the better. We gave them a good game, um, tired legs in the end, uh, lose out 4-1 in Basingstoke. Yeah, it's always going to be a tough game going to Basingstoke. I mean, last year, you know, going against them um, for the quarters going into Coventry, you know, I don't think anybody saw us um, sort of even making it. I don't think anything's changed going into the season. They still are going to be a, a difficult team to beat. They've got, you know, strong, strong lines. Their third line, you know, is easily a, a second line. Um, really strong players. Um, and again, we said it last week, and we can say it all the time, but it's such a long way. And I almost don't think we give credit enough to the lads for how far they travel on a Saturday. They play a long game, come all the way back, and then back up to D-side. You know, as fans, we complain about coming here on a Sunday and the long journey, but just think how many miles those boys travel in a weekend. And, you know, I think we need to give them some credit. Um, D-side are a really tough team. Um, you know, James Archer with the goal, again, brilliant. But, I mean, to be honest, I'm not surprised at, you know, at, at the scoreline because they're a really tough team. Yeah, uh, they are another tough team. Uh, are in the building tonight. We've got the Milton Keynes Lightning. Um, big bench, strength in depth. Um, we're, we, uh, we've got a game on our hands this evening. I know we've beaten them once uh, here in the league already, but we've been there and lost. Uh, home ice advantage? Um, no, I, I, I don't think so. Um, you know, we've been saying it for years. There are no easy games. Milton Keynes have really pulled the socks up this year. They're a strong team anyway. Massive bench. Um, they've had a sort of a solid core of players for the last God knows how long. The likes of County, um, McPherson, Carr, Farn. You know, they've all been around and playing together for years. So they know each other's abilities inside out. So, you know, they, they create a really strong um, British core. And then you chuck in their imports, and, and there's such a massive bench. Like you say, it's going to be difficult. Um, but you know what? You know our, our boys can bring it, and, and I'm more than confident every week that we can. Um, you know, it's a case of bounces going our way. Um, yes, we're sure. Yes, our legs get tired, um, noticeably with about 10 minutes to go. Um, but if we keep pushing, we've had them before, and I think we'll have them again. Absolutely, we do. We keep the faith. We are the plucky Phoenix. And on that note, uh, we'll hand over to Messrs Piper and Beasley up in the commentary box. Let's go watch some hockey. Tech Grom, O'Flaherty, Boothroyd and Neil. We're underway in the first period. It's the Phoenix who win the draw. James Neil will play it across the zone to Boothroyd. Jordan Cowney who skates his way past Grom, finds Emersick right hand side who tries to flip it towards the centre. It was a good block by James Neil. Comes back to his man on the point. Tip comes in in front, but it's wider than near post. Hook can pick it up, works his way out to the hash mark, banks it off the board. Good work by Boothroyd to tie up Jordan Coney, and it's Grom onto the loose puck. He finds Satek, who just scoops it cross ice to nobody in particular. Billing just about gets it clear as he tips it through. It could be a 2-3 on one for Milton Keynes. Lou Amala coming in, faking shooting, good stop by Foden. The rebound doesn't get there as Boothroyd had sprawled down on the ice. James Archer covering on D with a nice pass ahead and it's nicely worked by Kovar to find Alton skating his way into the zone left hand side. He's got Kovar going back door and he finds him. Good stop by Jordan Maher. Going post to post, got the glove and the pad there to deny Robin Kovar. It's Emersick onto it, who just plays it to himself off the hash mark, then tries to get it clear. Satex though has kept it alive, snapping a shot, glove save Jordan Maher. That was earmarked for the top corner, but Jordan Maher flashes the leather and denies Satek. There's a bit of afters after the play as well. Satek, uh, I've got no idea what sparked all of that, I have to say. Neil, risky pass, gets away with it though to find Robin Kovar, who stick handles past two MK players and then gives it back to Neil, who nicely cuts inside. He's tied up by Emerson, tried to give it back to Kovar, that was a risky play, and Lua Marla can bring it into the zone. Cuts inside, shoots, and it just whistles wide of the far post. Emerson will bring it down the right hand side. Thomas lines him up, good back checking as well from Nico Altman to tie the stick up, and that will do it for the first period. It's a first period which has been end-to-end, -end, but not much in the way of great scoring chances. And we're underway in the second period. Boothroyd chips up the board, so Flaherty will sweep down into the MK zone. Hovar holds at the blue line, bit of space, walking in, cuts the middle, shoots Jordan Maher, didn't know where that was, it bounces off the netting behind the goal. Working loose is Altonen, sharp angle effort, save is made by Maher, he doesn't know where it is, the puck's still loose and it squirts through the crease and bounces away. Trent Hope trying to work this away from Adam Carr. It breaks loose. Clements trying to flip it ahead. It's been settled down. Caught some heron towards Ben Wood. Can he get it on his feet? He can! He scores! 
great forecheck from that Phoenix third line. Corson Heron just wouldn't give it up. It took Ben Wood an absolute age to get it out of his feet, but he beats the dive of Jordan Maher, and the Phoenix lead 1-0. To Farn, lovely pass. Hook trying to drive his way in, goes backhand and scores. Nice long pass by Michael Farn. Lewis Hook got just half a step on James Neal, and to be honest, half a step was all he needed. Backhand through the legs of Stephen Fone, and it's one each. Jameson tries the long pass, it's been deflected. Chamberlain tries to dump it into the zone. Thomas lines him up on the Phoenix and bring this one in. It's Kovar dropping it back. He's got Alton and, and it's O'Flaherty. Good save by Maher. Bundled in, they score. Jordan Maher didn't hold it. Robin Kovar crashes the net. And when you crash the net, good things happen. The Phoenix strike right back. And it's 2-1 Manchester. Two shot from James Neal. Save is made. Puck still loose. Contrent Hope force it in. Not quite. Maher fumbling down on the ice. Is the puck loose? No, it isn't. Jordan Maher eventually he's got hold of it the Phoenix fans and the Phoenix players want a penalty shot who's got the puck though that's the question Chris Wells is having a word with Andy Miller so the outcome of all of that is that the Phoenix third line having got the first goal has now drawn a penalty shot again by putting the pressure on scrapping away in front of the goal and drawing a mistake Luke Boothroyd will take the penalty shot against Jordan Maher fairly direct down the middle lovely move just couldn't force it home and away come Milton Keynes down the left hand side is Tartin and he's got Chamberlain going towards the net Boothroyd tracks him ties him up and it's a penalty shot Chamberlain for Milton Keynes down the middle he comes snaps a shot good save by Foe Chamberlain I think trying to go block aside Foe read it all the way knocks it away with the blocker and the stick Gron just backhands it away as far as David Clements. He goes across to Christie. He's nicely lined up by Michael Satek. Gron chops it off the netting. That'll do it for the second period. Hook will turn and drive his way into the zone. Puck's rolled away from him, though. Emersick trying to sweep it through. The Phoenix players all collapse in, and it's Ben Russell who comes away with the puck. Backhands it across to Thomas, who gets some air on that one. Bounced down, it was just too much on it from Mark Thomas. Could have been a two on one for the Phoenix if it had been a bit more kind. Emersick fakes the shot, now goes sharp angle, save made Stephen Fogue. No rebound. <coughs> Trent Hope get onto this one. David Clements moving like an oil tanker out there. That allows Hope to get it. He plays it towards the front of the net. Maher gets on it. Big shot from Ben Russell is straight into the glove, and Jordan Maher will hold on. Winding, shooting, looking for a tip. The tip comes in, it bounces down on the front of the net. Alton and nicely works it across. It comes back to Kovar from the point. He works across one timer from Gron and he scores! Stan Gron, wind, shoot, score. Jordan Ma may have got a piece of it, but it's got through him. It's a power play goal and the Phoenix lead 3 1. County does well to kick it through, then almost lost his balance. Christie pinches in off the line. Nico Alton tries to line him up. Thomas sends Christie, sends Christie down to the ice with a close line from Helen. The Milton Keynes have scored. It's Emersick in front as it was nicely worked out. Emersick gets just enough of a tip on it to get it under the arm of Stephen Fone. And while we were all admiring Mark Thomas's hit, Milton Keynes have scored. It's 3 2. He can bring this away as Satek comes down the left hand side. He's got Wood and Gron with him. Satek towards Gron in front, Mar got across well and Gron just couldn't divert it home. The Lightning keep possession, Jamison drops down low, thrown towards the front of the net and it's put in. Lua Marler it is, who's forced it home. Sneaked in at the back door, nobody picked him up and the drawn up play by Pete Russell has worked a treat. With a minute and a half to go, the Milton Keynes Lightning have snatched an equaliser, it's 3-3. Time winding down as Archer drives his way into the zone, he's got Kovar going back door, can he find him? Yes he can, but it's just wide. Kovar with the chance, the buzzer will go to end the third period, we are off to overtime. It'll be Luamala and Satek to take the opening face off of overtime. The Phoenix have it, Boothroyd will drive his way into the zone, tries to cut inside James Griffin, the puck just rolled away from him. Gets it back to Farn, down low it goes. Luamala dropping it back, Jordan Coney walking in, it's off the skate, good stop by Fone sliding across. Coney will skate his way down the right hand side, he's got Emersick towards the back door, he's nicely lined up, knocked down to the ice by Ben Wood. Satek comes in, they've got a man open in front and Jamison scores. Well, they left the man open in front of the net just once too many, and it's Lee Jamieson who fires it over the shoulder of Stephen Foe to end the game with 51.9 seconds to go in overtime. The Milton Keynes Lightning have stolen two points on the road. The final score is Phoenix 3, Lightning 4.
What do you think of that one tonight? It was another barnstormer of a game, really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a good game. You know, it was. It was both. Uh, it was going end to end the whole game, so it was. It was a good game to watch, I think. And uh, we got back at the end, and uh, it was nice obviously to get the win. But we, both teams are in it all right to the end, so it was a great game. From up on the balcony where I was, it looked like it might have been a wee bit of football for that third goal, no? I'm not too sure. I think it was just a bit of a scramble and it just went in off something. So um, I don't think it was kicked in or anything. Otherwise, uh, the ref was standing there. But uh, that happens. Sometimes you get the bouncers, you know. It certainly does. Remember the one down here we got off the back of the net from yeah, your Last game, yeah. He got, got a few off the net last game. I'm thinking about two or three. So it was nice to get a bounce tonight. Uh, the winner, three and three overtime. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah I, I, I really like it. Yeah, I've, I've done it about three times now, and uh, it's, it's it's quite good. It's loads of space, so you get to, you know, you got to make sure you pick up your men. But you know, it's great because uh, you get so much time on the puck. So it's, I think it's entertaining really for the fans as well. So um, not for me up there, it wasn't. I just saw the I saw the two guys go to the other two, to go to the puck, and I thought that's going to leave somebody free. It just happened to be you. Yeah, you know, it, like I said. It's hard, you, do, you know, you've got to be aware out there and obviously was, sometimes you leave guys open and lucky it was me, obviously, and I got the winner. But, you know, I've, it's a big win for us. We needed it, so. Our man of the match with us, Ben Wood. Ben, you'd have traded man of the match for the two points, eh? De definitely. Uh, yeah, I think anyone would, really. It's just one of these games tonight. I mean, effort was there, physicalities were there, we were, turning, we were getting shots on, and just it's heartbreaking. Yeah, extremely disappointing. Um, I think we were three-one with what four minutes to go or something. Um, but you know they've got probably twice the amount of players we have, and uh, it's, you know things like that are going to happen. But we just need to make sure that we see out games. Unfortunately, it is difficult. I mean, we can we can go on about the short bench, but we've got it. The four D guys are putting in tremendous amount of minutes every game of the week. You yourself, you're up front, you're at the back. It's 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 been a tough season. Yeah, it has, um, but we can we can use that as an excuse every week. We need to suck it up, really, and uh, you know do the best with what we've got. Um, but like like I say, we should we we should have seen that game out. It's really disappointing, but that's hockey. Sport as well, though, isn't it? It happens sometimes. It gives the other team the momentum. You switch off for half a second, and all of a sudden you're you're, you're back fighting. Yeah, and that's exactly that's exactly what happened tonight. Right, well, it's a case of move on. Yeah. Days off, get a couple of days off, get yourself back into the gym, bit of ice ice training, and we've got to haul away, and then Telford at home next Sunday. They put a few goals past Sheffield tonight. Yeah, I've just seen the score actually. Um, yeah, that'll be a good game. We always seem to give Telford a good game, and obviously Hull uh, will be a challenge as well. But we need to take some positives from tonight. They're you know going to be challenging for the uh, for the title, and we I think we absolutely dominated them apart from the last four minutes where we made a couple of mistakes. So. We can take some positives and bring that into next weekend. So we're here this evening with Phoenix TV and we're going to ask the supporters club just exactly, ladies, what do you do in the supporters club? Well, we, um, we raise funds for the club and we're here to support the club. Um, it's absolutely essential that the supporters club are here. Uh, we put on events. Tonight we've had a Name the Pumpkin competition and someone's going to win a lovely hamper um, next week we've got a quiz night coming up uh, and that's a quiz night with the players so the team released players available for us and um, they come along it's a fun night so come and join in it's at Timperley Sports Club um, and we're here we've so far this year we've provided the team with sponsored track suits we've provided cover for um, import cover with Jan Plattel um, we've got events coming up later in the year, so pop down to the desk and come and say hello. There's lots of other supporters clubs, especially in ice hockey. Uh, their, their aim is to try and be as, as big as a sponsor. Um, last year, you guys were as big as a sponsor. Is that, is that your aim this year? Hopefully. It's going to be a struggle this year because, obviously, logistics and where we are and everything is going to be a struggle but I think if we all pull together and we all try really hard we can make a go of it this year. Well look from our point of view in the club Tony and I you know we, we, we couldn't do without you guys and I think it's really important and, and for us you are you're our portal to the fans and with you and the fans I think we stand a chance of getting through but it, it is tough and everything you do is really really well appreciated and without you and the help from the fans I don't know if we'd even get through this season so thank you all very very much. 
Okay, folks, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for this evening. Uh, a disappointing 4-3 defeat in overtime to the Milton Keynes Lightning. Uh, join us here next Sunday uh, in D-side when we take off uh, the Telford Tigers. Uh, usual half-past six face-off. Don't forget to follow us on all the usual channels, uh, the YouTube, the Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, and uh, check out the website as well. We'll see you all here next week.